eBay sellers, it's Suzanne coming to you from my shiny new kitchen in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains in Georgia. Can't film outside today, it is too windy. <laughs> so we are inside at the coffee bar. So grab a cup of coffee and we're gonna go over some $100 super size sales on eBay. These sales were taken from my Facebook group over the last couple of weeks. Today is January 12th, 2021. So these sales were in early January. And surprisingly, or not surprisingly, there are some great Christmas items that sold after Christmas. So if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that Christmas sells all year. If you still have Christmas items that did not sell, get them listed because people are buying them. I mentioned to my premium members a couple of weeks ago, right after I moved in, that I would be doing a new home tour. That is coming. I am still in process of assembling some items that were a little bit more complicated than I thought. Um, one item was a bed for my guest room and it did not come with all of the pieces. So I'm waiting for the rest of that to arrive so I can put it together. So I'm working behind the scenes, but I will show you my home, the way I have it set up for my eBay business. And as I have been working on over the past year, I am compacting everything. So it doesn't take up much room. My inventory is becoming more and more small items that are lightweight and easy to ship and don't take up much space. And I have arranged everything where it doesn't even look like I'm an eBay seller. My home is now my own again. It does not belong to my business. One thing that happens when you have a business is there can be a turning point where the business is running you rather than you running the business. So I really made an effort and thought through a lot of things when moving to this location about how I wanted it to look. And I think you'll like some of the little hacks I've come up with for uh, not only storage, but photography and shipping and all the different parts of the business that can spread all over the house. So I have it contained to one area where everything can be easily hidden. So that's coming. Okay, so let's get into the $100 super size sales. We're gonna start off with Lewis Prizzy. He has a story behind this item. He says, this one has a fun story. We had this decoration in my family when we were kids. A while back, my sister told me she wanted a set for herself if I found one while thrifting. Two weeks ago, I was so excited to find a set. Well, when I went to give it to her, she said I had already found her a set last year. Well, I looked the set up before tossing back in the donate bin and sold that for $90. When I told my sister, she asked if I wanted to sell the other set I bought her too, since she hadn't used it. So I made $190 on items that were purchased as gifts. This one is an honorable mention, sold for $99.95, 1991 House of Lloyd, Christmas Around the World, Up the Ladder, Santa Elf. And this sold in early January, so after Christmas. Next up, we've got Jamie Lynn Galloway, who sold this Pier 1 Imports Valentine's Day Table Runner. She paid $15 at a thrift store, sold in one week for $99.97 plus shipping. Lots of interest as it was the only one on eBay. And you might think Pier 1 is like a store full of crappy stuff. <laughs> I remember my sister and I had a lot of Pier 1 stuff in our homes when we first got married in the late 80s, and it wasn't the kind of store it is now. I mean, that stuff can be really expensive. So if you weren't aware that Pier 1 can sell for high prices, here's some proof, but 
take a second look at those things when you find them in the thrift store because uh, Pier 1 can be kind of pricey. It's up there with Pottery Barn and Crate and Barrel and those kind of stores. Okay, Diana Duhon paid $5.99 at Goodwill and took best offer of $99.99 plus shipping after almost two months. This is a Johnny Was full zip hoodie with embroidery. Very cool item. I love finding Johnny Was because it usually sells for $50 and up and it's really easy to spot on the rack of clothes because it's usually very heavily embroidered. Okay, next up is Brian Rappaport. Another piece of clothing that I've had unlisted for about two and a half years. Paid a dollar at a garage sale. Sold for $99.99 in a few hours to a buyer in Thailand. So a dollar and sold for just under a hundred and he had it for two and a half years unlisted. But wait, you get more. He had another one. Kind of like it. Jam's World. Same story. A dollar and sold for just under a hundred. So get your stuff listed. I'm not going to fuss at Brian because he knows what he's doing. But for those of you that have unlisted items, they could sell in an hour. They could sell in a day. So that should be your motivation to tackle that pile and get those things listed. Next up is Alona Fuentes. This was $4.99 at Goodwill, sold in 48 hours. 2003 Jim Shore Shepherd Let Earth Receive Her King figurine. So another Christmas item that sold after Christmas. Five bucks and sold for just under a hundred. If you're not familiar with Jim Shore, I do have a course on him and his work in the premium library so you can check that out now we've got marie hamilton ten dollar yard sale find sold for best offer in less than a week here we have another christmas item it is an 18 inch white iridescent ceramic tabletop christmas tree these can be a shipping nightmare but if you're brave and willing to do the work very profitable so she said $10 and sold for a hundred in less than a week after Christmas. If you have one of these, get it listed. Now we've got Stephanie Oram. She says a few days late, but wanted to share. Paid $5 for these framed needlework pictures at a garage sale. Took about two months to sell. Priced at $125 and took $100 plus shipping on December 27th so after christmas vintage 1997 cruel embroidery framed art four seasons very nice set next is sue ann acres paid 13 dollars at goodwill listed december 26 for 129.99 or best offer took an offer of a hundred so this was after christmas expensive things will still sell this is a Los Angeles Dodgers LED light-up scoreboard clock. It's a cool item. Okay, Ken McNamara, $5, sold for $104 in two weeks. This is a hammered copper five-quart saucepan. He really knows his stuff with his pots and pans. $5, sold for $104 in two weeks. And Ken shows up a lot on these supersized sales because he knows what he's doing. He's a seller to follow and pay attention to because he's got it figured out. Okay, Megan Blakely found at Goodwill for $20. It was new without tag. Retail price is around $300. This is a Columbia men's down jacket. She paid $20 and it sold for $105. Now we've got Aisha Greer, paid $15 at a thrift store. I'm gonna start learning more towards coats and jackets. There's money to be made and easier to ship than our usuals. Sold in like three days. This is a cool K-U-H-L brand Arctic jacket. 
$15 and she sold it for 105. Great sale. Okay, Alona Fuentes, Goodwill Bins find, probably cost me $5. Took six months to sell. I found it in the summer. This is a vintage 90s Columbia ski snowsuit. It sold for $109.99. She only paid $5 for it. And I do this too. I buy all seasons all year because, okay, maybe you think a ski snowsuit would not sell in the summer. Sometimes they do, but eventually winter's gonna come around and it will be more desired and people will be looking for it more frequently than in the summer. But remember, if you are shipping internationally, the other side of the world, the seasons are opposite from ours. So you've got to think globally, not locally, when you're selling on eBay. Okay, now we've got Lewis Prizzy, paid 99 cents at a thrift store, sold in three hours for full asking price. This is a vintage 60s New York Knicks nine inch bobblehead. 99 cents, sold for $119.95. And it would not be a $100 sales video without KC. $3 at the thrift store, sold for $119.95 in three weeks. I wasn't sure about a four extra large size, but I knew $3 couldn't be beat. This is a Pendleton original board shirt that sold for $119.95. It only cost him $3. And Beth Spear had a comment. I found really large sizes sell faster than standard, medium, large, or extra large. And Anna also commented that, and Anna also commented that four extra large is an automatic buy. The bigger, the better. So there you go. Okay, Alona again, but with a different kind of item, not clothing. She said, mom found these at an estate sale for a dollar. Took about six months to sell. Vintage Wagner flocked rabbit bunny with clothing. They're made in Germany and sold for $119.99. Okay, now we've got Ginger. $44 sold for $125. Bought these at a friend's estate sale. They are selling everything to become foreign missionaries. Bought the books for $2 each. Sold the set for best offer of $125 plus shipping in a couple of months. And the books are a lot of 22 value tales and Johnson education homeschooling books. $44 sold for $125. Megan Doyle paid $9.99 at Goodwill, took two months to sell. Vintage 90s Buffalo Bill starter jacket, sold for $124.99. Now we've got Nicole Nichols, picked up this off the ground at a garage sale and paid 50 cents for it. Sold for $125 in less than 24 hours. It had small holes and was very well loved. Vintage Original Saxon World Conqueror T-shirt, 1983. So this item right here is just like the poster child for why we sell on eBay. Okay, she found it on the ground, so people might have even been walking on it and didn't even know it was valuable. She only paid 50 cents for it. It sold for over $100 in less than 24 hours, and it had holes in it. So if that doesn't get you excited about eBay, nothing will. What a great sale. Next up is Ann Coomer. She paid 50 cents at the per pound Goodwill, the bins, sold within two weeks. This is a Fisher Price 1993 plush. It is the Rumple Bear Floppy Plush. 50 cents and sold for $125. Now we have Laura Harmon, her best sale in three years. Free from mom's seller, listed about five days. Had a few low offers, less than 50%, but 
but sold on offer to a watcher for $138. I originally had it priced at $200. This is a Christian decor wall hanging. And Ginger said, wow, I would have never dreamed it would be that valuable. Good flip. And Laura says, thanks. Look up A.E. Mitchell Art Company. There's quite a range of solds. I proved higher. I think she meant to say I priced higher because I couldn't find that same one and it had roses. Great sale. Next up is Ken McNamara who sold some boots. $10 sold for $139. Thrift store find sold in two months. I guess it's pronounced Quadra is a high-end brand in Mexico. Good bolo. So this is a pair of men's black cowboy boots, size 10. $10 sold for $139 in just two months. Now we've got Nicole Nichols with another great sale. Paid $25 for a box of these. There were various ones in the box. Sold all of the toner cartridges for this price and they sold fast. The sale price on these HP LaserJet cartridges was $140. And Tamsin reminded everybody that we should turn off global international sales on Hewlett Packard because in Europe, that is a Vero. So you don't want to offer this to international customers because your listing could be taken down or it could be a Vero. All right, now we have Kathy Marinello, who sold this Ed Hardy hoodie. She paid $2.25 at Goodwill and sold for $145 in five days. Ed Hardy hoodie sweatshirt size two extra large. I think the size there helped with getting that price because again, the larger sizes sell for more because there's less of them. Graham Murray. Paid $15 at a thrift store. Sold in a week. This is a DeLonghi Espresso Cappuccino machine. $15 sold for $149.99. Now we have Ken again with another very pretty skillet. Paid $53, sold for $150. He said it was locked up behind the display case at the thrift store, so had to pay up for this one, sold in 17 days. And the brand is Le Creuset. So he tripled his investment in 17 days, which I think is fabulous. Maybe you're not at the level where you're gonna pay $53 for something, but again, Ken has the experience and the knowledge about cookware that that was his comfort zone. So. Don't be afraid to look in the cases and ask for things behind the counter and look them up because that's kind of where we're going with thrift stores now. They are catching some of the more valuable things and putting them behind the counter, but that doesn't mean you can't make money on it. Julie Gambino, found at an antique store for $7, sold in less than two hours for best offer of $150. This is a Heron of Hungary mini soup terrine, beautiful with butterflies and just gorgeous craftsmanship. $7 and sold for $150 in two hours. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> okay, here's another one from KC. He says, less than $5 in bulk lot of vintage woodworking tools. Sold for $152.96 in three months. And this is a vintage Stanley planer, like a wood planer for woodworking. Eileen Cole paid $20 for this Oneida silver plate flatware with storage chest at an estate sale. Listed for $160 and took a best offer of $125 plus shipping. Took about six months to sell. So her investment was only $20 and she sold it for 125. Now we have another one from Alona, a Jim Shore item, 14.99 at Goodwill, sold for $174.99. It seems like somebody just dumped their Jim Shore stuff 
at Goodwill because she found a bunch of these. And that's the way it works when family or whoever is cleaning out the house and maybe it's a deceased person or they're moving to assisted living. Things just get donated. The family just wants to be done with it. And my guess is that's what happened here because there were quite a few of these and she sold them, most of them, for over $100. So you just never know what you're going to stumble on. Don't think that the people who were there before you have bought everything good. You don't know what other people know and who's been there and how long the item has been there. So just be open to finding anything. Okay, Sarah Grant bought this sealed DVD set at Goodwill for $3.99 sold it in a week for $179 with free shipping. This is Jeeves and Wooster Complete Collection DVD set. So if you're not checking the DVDs, especially the sets, those can be quite valuable sometimes. Alicia Cardin paid $7 at Goodwill, sold for best offer of $200, sold in two weeks. My last sale of 2020 on December 31st. Wow, there's lots of twos going on. 200, 2020. This is a Ralph Lauren Polo 2 Extra Large Leather Jacket. $7, sold for 200. Okay, this is a pretty Pyrex bowl. Ken McNamara paid $4 for this, sold it for 200. We all have that one thrift store we hate because everything is so expensive and yet we still go because we might get lucky. Well, this time I lucked out. Found this little gem next to the teacups for some reason. eBay comps showed the highest price sale for this particular size bowl in great condition at $170. The market for orange Amish butter print keeps going up by the minute. I listed the bowl for $200 thanks to the advice of Eileen Cole thinking it would take a few weeks to sell. It sold in three hours. So a lot of good information in this post, which is why you should be reading through all of the Money Making Mondays post because these backstories can help you be a smarter seller and a smarter treasure hunter. So now we know that orange Amish butter print is highly desired and is becoming more and more valuable. So look at this print. It's got the farmer and the Amish lady with her dress on, and I think it's like a pineapple in the middle. Um, you can look up more information on the Amish butter print. But the orange is highly desired, so take that tip away with you. $4, $200 sale for a bowl, in just three hours and he found it at a thrift store where they usually mark everything up but they miss this so that gives us all hope and faith that these things are out there and we can find them okay next up is abby fink paid 50 cents at a sale this summer sold for 200. this is a busilla christmas needlepoint stocking kit and this sale was posted on January 11th, I think, which means it sold after Christmas. 50 cents sold for 200. Another poster child of eBay selling right here, this type of item that most people don't think would be worth anything. And here it sold for $200. Okay, Judy Odom bought a box of 35 millimeter camera stuff that included a Canon camera with three lenses for $20. I parted it out so each piece cost about $5. I've sold two of the lenses so far. This one sold in two weeks for a best offer of $210 plus shipping. Can you say ka-ching? My best sale. I always look for camera lenses and know that they're worth more than the camera they're on, but that's really all I know about them. And there it is, a Canon 200 millimeter ultrasonic wide angle lens sold for $210. Now we've got Nicole Nichols with this 
absolutely fabulous mid-century modern clock. I love this clock. She said, I found this at Goodwill for $10, sold for $209.99 in just a few days. I paid shipping through UPS, which was far cheaper than USPS, came to about $28 compared to the USPS rate of $56. And Gail asked, did you disassemble it for shipping? Nicole answered, no, we packed it very carefully with bubble wrap and layered with foam on top and bottom. The shipping was $28 because the box dimensions were 24 by 24 by 11. It weighed nine pounds after packing. I love the clock and almost kept it. I agree. I might have had to keep this one. This is a vintage Forestville clock sunburst, mid-century modern wood metal starburst. A lot of key words in there. And I bet the wood is actually uh, teak wood, which a lot of mid-century modern pieces, furniture, wall decor, lamps are made from teak. But this is just a gorgeous piece. Love it. $10 sold for $209.99. And finally, we have the most amazing item in the video. <laughs> Mary purchased this at a discount store for 99 cents each, sold 10 to one buyer. This is Listerine Reach Gentle Gum Floss Cinnamon Mint. Okay, it sold for $271.90, and that was for 10 packs of dental floss. I mean, what planet are we living on when dental floss sells for this much money? It was discontinued, so no more is being made, and it only becomes more desirable. It's a supply and demand thing, and somebody obviously really likes this floss. So Peggy asked, so this was for 10? And Mary said, yes, 10 packages of floss. Crazy, huh? So <laughs> I have no words. Dental floss, $271. That is just crazy. But aren't we fortunate that we can make money this way? That is why I love selling on eBay, going into my 19th year. It just never gets boring. There's always more to learn. And who knew? Thanks so much for watching. And just a side note, I'm working very hard to make these videos visually pleasing, interesting, and engaging. So if you feel like I'm not putting out enough videos at this point, just realize there's a lot of thought and planning that goes into it. I am just not somebody to turn on the camera when I'm in the car and just make a video. I like to have everything planned and edit the video so that it is very high quality. But if you're not a member of my premium library, I do add new videos every week. So there are over 360 videos now. That is where most of my effort for making videos is going at this point. So if you want to see more videos, they are waiting for you in the premium library. Check it out. It's $20 a month, no commitment, come and go as you like, and you can download everything in the library anytime you want to. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Have a profitable and productive day on eBay. Bye.